I don't think I've had enough to drink yet. This time on, I'm the VR guinea pig. Allies through. Pa! If you do this, you get a lot more immersion. Uh, can't do that. Looks like I'm rubbing one out. What's up, Rifters? Flake here. It's late night. I just got home and uh, I felt like playing some flack, so uh, I thought I would do that and uh, record a quick video at the same time. Uh, links to everything you need to know will be below, uh, and that rhymes. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's get into some flack uh, with Flake. <laughs> All right, here we are playing some flack. Uh, been playing this a little bit, and I'm having a really good time. Uses uh, the Xbox controller, which is quite nice. You're mounted on a a Flack 88, as it's called. Uh, I guess it was a really highly used anti-aircraft, anti-tank weapon uh, during the World War uh, II. It seems like each uh, shot has basically about a five second delay before it hits its target, so you gotta lead uh, aircraft really, really heavily. Uh, you know, you don't have a body or anything like that, but you're definitely kind of floating on this little turret. Uh, and if you're on a stool that rotates like I am, uh, it feels really kind of cool. You can kind of trick your head into uh, kind of playing along a little bit. So I'll show you what I mean. When I'm turning left and right, even though I'm not actually going to be rotating in my chair the equal amount, I can still, and, and, and this is gonna sound a little weird, but as I turn, I kinda move it back and forth and just give myself a little bit of a, of a turn uh, in my seat. Even just moving it a little bit, just creating a little bit of movement makes your brain, I don't know, feels more believable. Otherwise, I felt like just holding and keeping your body position um, you know, straight the whole time, you feel, I don't know, like a little VR sickness, just a tad. But being in this swivel chair and kind of moving my head and also having something to walk, maybe a couple steps. Um, I have a desk here that I keep so I can keep kind of center, but um, I keep my knee up against, but I can move left to right, I don't know, a foot or two. And uh, I don't know, it's a little silly, but it makes the whole thing a little bit more believable. Uh, so left and right control on the, the, the left stick, uh, moves you left and right. The uh, right stick uh, is, is uh, just pitch up and down. Now, not that I want to really go there, but it does feel a little uncomfortable uh, being on a <laughs> German 88 sh shooting down Allied. I uh, don't know how I feel about it, but it is a game. So, just saying. With that said, let's take down some Allied forces. sunset is absolutely unbelievable sorry I'm just mesmerized but the uh, sunset is absolutely uh, just it's just awesome like I said once you get the hang of it so in this case like sometimes like I said I'll just move this thing around a little bit and 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 to me, it feels like I, I just spun 360, and, and, and I don't feel sick. But when I when I do it, I without kind of wiggling a little bit, I do feel a little queasy. If you do this, you get a lot more immersion. Uh, Can't do that. Looks like I'm rubbing one out. I don't think I've had enough to drink yet. You know, one thing that should be said is um, with a lot of these demos, you have sometimes just a lot of trouble with various elements. And uh, this one, you just plug the thing in and it just runs. Didn't have to mess with a damn thing, and I appreciate that. So I want to give a shout out to the developer, Shover, S-H-O-V-O-R, however you say it. Uh, traded messages with him on Reddit before. Uh, good guy and a sick developer. Same guy that did Lunar Flight. So, I mean, obviously no surprise this thing is as awesome as it is. 
Uh, so thanks for this game, Shover. Come on. Come to Papa. I don't know why I'm leaning like this, but it feels right. I'm out of range! That one got away! Sound effects are really cool, a lot of explosions, sirens, as you can hear. Uh, it'd be cool if you could hear this thing turning like a big... <laughs> Maybe not like that. Shit. I'm letting these damn allies through. It'd be really neat to see, um, you know, allies firing back, or at least be able to watch the planes actually go down. Um, it'd be cool also to see um, the sunset actually set, or the sun actually set, rather, and uh, to see nightfall and, and maybe night missions and different things move to different locations. Like I said, uh, allied uh, shooting back, seeing the actual planes crash. Also, it'd be nice if there was a score counter or something, challenges. But as this platform is so cool and, and so, uh, you know, usable for so many different types of games and it's just really well done. I'm gonna get you. Oh, I'm not gonna get you. Come on, faster. He's out of range. Whew. All right, so that was Flack. Uh, I'm Flake, and I gotta go to bed, but that was a blast. Uh, my eyes are killing me from uh, playing that for so long. Uh, but amazing game. Thanks to Schober for uh, for developing this game because I just had uh, a blast. I can play this thing for hours. It's fun. It's, I don't know. Everybody go out and try it. Links to it are going to be below. And, uh, you know, as always, you want to show love, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, do all that stuff. And, uh, and, and we'll see you soon. Let's just... Let's just do that. Chatty chat, chitty chat, chatty chat, chitty chat. Fuck. Ah. Virtual Reality Guinea Pig